Good morning everybody, Mark here from Illawarra Education Foundation. Thanks for joining me today for this video which is all about place value. So place value is the foundation of all our maths concepts. So please make sure you go to our website, print off the two worksheets that are just like the ones here I have on the board and get ready for some fun. Welcome back everybody. You'll notice that on our first worksheet today, we have our place value columns. Now, of course, I only have a very small snapshot. You'll see that the, it's actually an arrow. The column actually goes on forever this way and it can go on forever this way. Today, we're just focusing on the main columns. We have four whole numbers and we have two fractions or decimals or part numbers. Now you'll notice here we have our decimal point. That decimal point is critical to understand that actually all our whole numbers, it's always there, we just don't write it. So that's why I always like to make sure that I put it on my place value columns when I'm teaching this concept to my students. Now our first column we have is the ones column and there's our ones. And we can represent it, the, the basic unit is of course one. The next column we have our tens column, 10 of those ones, hundreds is next, 10 of the tens, and the last one shown here are our thousands columns, thousands column, 10 of the hundreds. You'll notice that each time we go across, we increase by a factor of 10. Whenever we come this way across the column, we decrease by a factor of 10. If you like, times 10 divided by 10. These two columns here, these are our fractions or our decimals or our part numbers, less than one. Um, so we have the first column to the right of the decimal place is our tenths column. You notice I've highlighted the TH at the end of tenths in yellow. It's critical that we don't get lazy with our language, otherwise we may confuse it with the tens column. So it's tenths represented over 10. So it is of course this one divided into 10 equal parts. So it's quite small. The next column we have is our hundredths column, which is one divided into 100 equal parts, represented there as a fraction over 100 with the denominator as 100. So Let's make a start. On our second sheet, we have our numerals, and we're actually going to be placing these numerals into our place value chart today. I also want to talk about expanded notation, or the long way to write the number. So let's get started. We'll start nice and easy. The, the number is 29. Now I hear a lot of people say, 29 is a two, and a nine. Of course, it's not a two and a nine. It's a 20 and a nine. So parents out there, when you please describe numbers to your children, it's really great if you could actually use the correct language in maths, 29, two tens and nine ones. So when we're going to write this out in expanded notation, watch how I do that. We have 20, two tens, two tens and nine ones. So 29 in expanded notation is 20 plus nine. Go and write that now on your sheet and also put in 29 on the place value chart. If you need to pause the video, please do so. The next numeral is 572. Let's write that on our place value chart. 500, so find the hundreds column, 72, 
7 tens, 2 ones. 572, let's now write that out in expanded notation. We have five hundreds. plus seven tens and two ones. So 500, move that out of the way, 572 is 500 plus 70 plus two. Write that in now. The next number, 4,086. Four thousands. We don't have any hundreds. So we need our zero, the hero, it is our placeholder. Eight tens, six ones, 4,086. Now let's write that in expanded notation. Four thousands. Now we don't have any hundreds, so we don't actually need to write that. We can leave that one out. Eight tens. because eight tens is 80, and six ones. Write that in. The next one we have is three and nine tenths. Again, a lot of people would say 3.9. The problem with 3.9, of course, we're not using our correct column terminology. So we'll write in three, put in the decimal point, and nine tenths. So now let's write that in expanded notation. So we have three and nine tenths. Now, if you would prefer to write that as a decimal, as opposed to a fraction, this is what it would look like. Three and nine tenths. So let's try the second last one, 204 and 67 hundredths. Two hundredths. We don't have any tens. We have four ones and we have 67 hundredths. Put in a decimal point. and 6700. So now let's write that out in expanded notation. 200 plus four. And we have six tenths and seven hundredths. We're going to keep them separate. You might want to cheat and put 67 hundredths. I'm actually going to do them in their separate expanded columns. 6 tenths and 7 hundredths. Last one, 105 and 1, one hundredth or 1 hundredth. 105 and 1 hundredth. Now let's write that out in expanded notation. You might want to actually pause now and have a go yourself and then check. We have 100 plus our five ones. And now we don't have any tenths. We just have one hundredth. And there you go. I hope you found that helpful today. Just a nice short one to really show place value is not as tricky as a lot of people think. Just remember, if you know your column headings and you know how to actually read numbers, which is why we need to understand the expanded notation, we should be on the right track. Please feel free to go to our website. We have tons of great resources for you. You can look at more videos, you can download and print some free worksheets. Please remember to share, please remember to like, and please subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot. See you next time.